this is music and this is the worst unboxing ever. <laughs> Once again, I'm late to the party because I'm going to unbox this one here, uh, Anno Domini by Black Sabbath, which came out uh, a while ago. Uh, a lot of people have unboxed it, uh, but I decided to do an unboxing anyhow, just in case there are some people out there who maybe they're on the fence. They don't know whether to pick it up or not. Maybe another idiot unboxing it uh, might help them uh, decide. So I'm not going to show the entire product the whole time in this video because I don't have the setup for that. And if you don't like that, feel free to go and watch other videos. So with that out of the way, let's dig into this. Uh, I did actually pre-order it, not because I wanted it on the release date, uh, just because it's a quite limited um, item here and I wanted to have a copy of it because I actually don't have any of these on vinyl so that's why anyhow there's this massive hype sticker on it that says Black Sabbath Anno Domini 1989 to 1995 4 LP super deluxe edition featuring three albums newly remastered and um, then the 2024 Tony Iommi remix of Forbidden infamously bad album because of the uh, original uh, mix uh, we have uh, 1989 Headless Cross uh, Tour Replica Concert Book, then a 40-page book with photos, artwork, and liner notes, and a Headless Cross poster. So uh, let's open this off-screen, not showing the product. How dare I? Got to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to ruin the actual box. But I've cut through it, so let's get into it and it looks like it's uh not a slip case most box sets i have and that's not a whole lot are slip case box sets so uh and i'm gonna try to see if i can preserve the hype sticker <laughs> so this is what it looks like without too much of a glare looks like this on the front nice uh, tasty Cover artwork with uh, kind of like elements from all the four albums in here. Looks like this on the side. Yeah. And this on the back here is just a piece of paper. Uh, and then you have a m this here uh, on the back. On the back of the box. There you go. Is there any difference? Yeah, there's more text on this one. Yeah, cool. So there you go, like this, and uh, yeah, it's it's like a yeah, looks like this right here on this side. We've already seen this. Looks like this on the other side, and like this oh, with a an upside down cross. Oh, sneaky. Anyway, so uh, if we open it, if we can open it. So uh, I'm opening it right now. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. So, yeah, nothing on the inside here. And we are greeted with this. So this has to be, yeah, this is the, uh, the booklet. Get the booklet out here. Like this, nothing on the back and let's just open it on a random page so uh, there you go looks like you have a write-up you've got some uh, pictures have a look at another page more write-up stuff the epilogue so nice reading there and up next this here so uh that's probably the replica tour book. Let's see. Looks 
like this. I'm just going to open up on some random pages. Pretty cool uh, pictures there. And there you go. Yeah, nice. And now it looks like this kind of boring, but this is the poster. Um, I'm not going to unfold it. So this is the worst unboxing video ever, but you you get the idea. It's a massive poster of the Headless Cross. So this is a great album, fantastic, uh, fantastic title track actually. Pretty good looking uh, in terms of the artwork and the resolution. Just comes yeah comes in a simple. Uh, polylined inner sleeve and uh, that's about it and it's black vinyl so uh, keeping things simple I think that's pretty cool there you go again fantastic album uh, especially the title track the riffs uh, the vocals and everything up next here another great album also looks pretty good in terms of the resolution and stuff and uh same inner sleeve poly lined now cross purposes i think this is uh i've heard some people trash talk this artwork i've also heard some people trash talk the album it's not an album I have engaged with a whole lot. I don't even remember if I have it on CD. Uh, but I've, I've, I know I've heard a song or two and I don't think they were bad again. Same type of polylined inner sleeve. And now the infamously bad and infamously badly produced uh, Forbidden. And I have to say, I've never heard this album. Putting it out there. I think the cover artwork is pretty cool, actually. I think uh, a lot of people didn't like the production, and I think a bunch of people also had an issue with um, Ice Tea. So there you go. The worst unboxing ever. I think this is a pretty cool uh, box set. I'm glad to have all of these records. Um, on vinyl in one fell swoop so uh, i think it's a very limited uh, product so if you want to pick it up you may have to hurry up i don't know but there you go another worst unboxing ever thanks for watching